Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the year plan of 2020 for our roller coaster trips. Now, I'm going to be taking a little bit more time than what I normally do on these videos to explain what I am doing this summer, and really just the full year. So, we're going to kick it off with the coasters. Now, I'm going to be getting a lot of new credits this year, including new ones in Florida, including Iron Gwazi, Icebreaker, Sea Orlando, and some other parks in Florida I haven't been to yet. I did get a new coaster credit today at Andretti's Halo Family Center. So, yeah, I'm still getting credits, so that was my 37th. Let's get to the park. So, confirmed, we're going to start off with Spring Break. Now, Spring Break for me, just in a week, we'll be heading out to Bush Gardens Tampa Bay in Florida. For about two days and we'll be riding all the coasters there like i always do i'm actually my meet up with a friend and of course you all know bush Garden Tampa bay for the three monster bnms montu kumba and shika and i will be doing the monty review soon i just don't have that one ready but that'll be our first part our second part that is confirmed is sea world orlando sea world orlando has the new coaster icebreaker coming has the amazing bnm hyper coaster makeup Amazing four was coaster Kraken and a pretty good flying coaster with Manta. I do prefer Manta over the Superman clones, even though I haven't read one. It has a unique layout, even though it's a clone. And the pretzel loop is insanely intense in the back, and that's my first and right, right now the only ride I've gotten on it. Uh, I've gotten many rides on the other coasters, and the next park we'll be heading to this year is Legoland in Florida. We're going to be knocking out all the four parks. Legoland has five roller coasters. Wooden coaster, a Vacoma suspended family coaster, a bunch of other coasters, a zero coaster, really everything. Mac, M Mac Wild Mouse, and really everything. Our third park that is confirmed, I mean, our fourth park is Maurice Piers in Wildwood, New Jersey. I grew up going to this park. As you see, the footage right here is Sea Serpent, the Vacoma Boomerang. That'll be one new credit I would be getting. This credit is one of my favorites that I have not written yet, but I'm excited to write it. It will be my first boomerang, as well as for Great Nor'easter to become an SLC. My first SLC, Great White, will be my first major large-scale wooden coaster, unless if it's Mind Blower or Fun Spot Kissimmee, SCCI or Custom Coaster International Coaster. We also got Crazy Tram Card, a new for 2019 edition that I was sadly game two days before opening, so I didn't get a chance to ride. We also got the FPS Visa Spinner, which I've written a couple of those. So our next park on the list is Bush Gardens Williamsburg. This is not a fully confirmed park, but we are probably going to be going to this park this year. Now I know I'm showing Bush Gardens Tampa footage. I don't got much footage of Bush Gardens Williamsburg, but you should be actually seeing that in this video a little later. I just don't have much because I didn't take my time to did a film because I had to hang out with my brother and all them there. We only had two days, we had three, yes, I would take more time. I couldn't, but also Busch Gardens Williamsburg has a lot of coasters, amazing, with the Apollo's Chariot, Alpengeist, and Griffin, three outstanding B&Ms, just like Busch Gardens Tampa's lineup with the B&Ms. It also got the Aerodynamics Classic Loch Ness Monster. You got really everything there. It's a really complete collection of Zero Launch Coaster and Verbolton. Just amazing. Um, I can't wait to ride their new launch crew, multi launch coaster and Pantheon. Hopefully, this year with the Intamin. It's actually, I think it's an Intamin bus coaster. I haven't looked yet on RCDB. It's another new credit to look forward to. Um, the Fun Spot Park, speaking of Spun Spot, we'll be going to Fun Spot America in Orlando and Kissimmee. During spring break, we will be hitting up the Kissimmee Park. And don't worry, Wish Grand Williamsburg will be during July. Here's the footage. Should be during sometime July or early June. Late June, actually, would be if we are going to be going. Um, they got the three outstanding BNMs, like I said the classic Loch Ness Monster, the Bolton, the Zero, Apollo's Chariot, the BNM Hyper, the first BNM Hyper, um, Griffin, the cousin of Shikra, and here's the 40 year old Loch Ness Monster, the first coaster with interlocking loops, and the last one standing with the remove lightning loops and the other one that was fun album guys the bulger and abby yard and coaster that's pretty neat now for mate now for hyper coasters we will be riding a new one that is confirmed nitro six flies great adventure and here we are in six flies great adventure great adventure is was my one of my old home parks and i haven't i didn't really I only rode three coasters there the runaway train runaway mine train harry quinn crazy train and something else but those were just my only rides I got. So I got other coasters like Nitro, Bizarro. I also got King to Cost credit already. So I'm not going to be riding that because I didn't like it. 
the launch was just stupid. It just the launch was rough. I did get one of the back seats, so I might try taking the console towards the front when I go. And that's just my. But we got the other crazy El Toro. It's well known. We got the B and M Hyper on Nitro. Batman the Ride Clone, Green Lantern stand up, my first stand up. Um, you got the Flying Coaster Superman. You got a lot of good coasters there. Um, I definitely am excited to go. For um, other amusement parks, um, that's really it for the amusement parks. Um, for um, any follow ups for the coaster credit things, um, right now I got 37 credits. And I'm hoping to reach 40 by the end of the spring break by going to Fun Spot Kissimmee and making Mind Blower my 40th. Um, for any other coasters that I might miss on this list, I'll let you guys know later on. And I'm just hoping I'll be able to reach Busch Gardens Williamsburg this year because last year it was fun. Like, I went with my Nana. I was like, when I was moving down to Florida, we planned this really big coaster trip that I didn't let anybody know about. I actually never even posted any of the footage that I got from Williamsburg or Six Flags America. I did go to Six Flags America and I don't have any of the footage anymore, which is sad. I might be going back to Six Flags America soon to ride all their coasters. And hopefully I can survive Great Nor'easter, their Jurassic Become SLC. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, and please subscribe.